Good afternoon YouTube. So I'm trying to come up with uh, some way to hold this LED panel light and I'm thinking about using one of these photography accessory clamps that are available. I'll put a link to the Amazon page with these in the video description. But they uh, basically clamp on to the various objects for lights and blinds and reflectors and things and I showed you earlier that they just they don't really get a good grip on this panel it's it's just kind of too thin and too slippery what I came up with was I designed this and printed it with my 3d printer what this does is matches the profile here you can see there's this main trim piece here and then there's a small metal lip sticking out here from the uh, cover on the back. And there's a slight recess in there, so I designed this piece here to fit in there. So it slides over the uh, trim piece and then locks in on that uh, metal cover piece there. And the idea is that the clamp will go over that and then if you watch here, but when I clamp down on this piece, you can see how the, the two little grooves close up a little bit. And the idea is this clamp will pinch this block and then trap the light inside. For a test, I just printed two small pieces here. And then if we spread them out, you can see the clamp will go over those. And it holds pretty well. One of the problems, though, that I noticed is there's nothing on the end of the block to prevent the clamp from sliding or twisting like that. So, version 2 is basically the same block, but I added a couple of ears on the top. And the idea is those locks into the top of the clamp, so the clamp can't go any deeper and that would work well for sitting up vertically like that. That'll keep the light from pushing down into the clamp. So I printed myself a full size one of those. Pop that on there. You can see it slips on just the same way. And then the clamp can come up here. And so if you're doing a vertical light, you can hold it that way. The uh, And that works pretty good except if you watch here as I tip it over, you can see it kind of slips. There's not a lot of grip on there. I imagine one thing you could do is glue some sandpaper down here just to have a rougher surface because this is ABS plastic. It's a little bit shiny. You could probably just also rough it up with some coarse sandpaper just to get a little better grip on the rubber of the clamp. But I had an, another idea if you look in there you can see the block is not quite as wide as the clamp there's a little bit of daylight in there so I could make the block a little bit thicker but what I decided to do was make it tapered so if you can see those two there this was the original design and on this one I tapered it in two millimeters on each side so it's slightly trapezoidal and that one I printed out a full-size block and I think that one is going to do the trick here so that slides on the same way but now you can see it's slightly tapered and just barely see light through there it's pretty much flush and that really holds tight you, know, you can hold go sideways because if the light starts to slip it will pull a little bit but because of the taper of the block it will put more pressure on the clamp the farther it tries to slide and so it's pretty much self-limiting it'll move just a little bit anyway I think that's a winner right here so this is version 3 
And so I'll, I'll be putting this uh, model up on Thingiverse. I'll put a link in the video description if you want to grab one of those to print out or I'll figure out, I'll put a put together a web page with some pricing on it and otherwise you can download it and print it from Thingiverse. You can also just order the part off of Thingiverse. They also have a printing facility so I think that will work perfect and you know if you wanted a more secure installation you could just uh, insert a little bit of adhesive in here before pressing this on and that way it would be on pretty securely show you the progression of versions there three versions of the bracket the original one then I added the ears on the top and then I tapered the sides in it may not show up will probably show up more tapered that way since you get, don't have the perspective in there so yeah there's the three versions and I think this is the keeper right there and so if you're printing these on Thingiverse what I, what I have is I have the model created with a 10 millimeter height these clamps are about 70 millimeters wide you could actually probably go a little bit wider so to do that all you need to do is in your slicer just change the Z scaling or Z scaling and if you change it from 1.0 up to 7.0 you get a 70 millimeter high part like that and if you change it to 2.0 you'd get a 20 millimeter high part so a couple of things to watch for if you go wider you can see I'm right in between these two fatter ribs so there's two middle size ribs and then there's the two screw towers so I, I went with 70 because that fits in between the two fatter ribs there so a couple of steps to go and then we'll have some working video soft lights so stay tuned to the channel for those videos I'll post them when they're ready and if you have any questions about this, uh, post up in the comment section below. And as always, thanks for watching.